Hi, I've got my copy of the Home Designer Pro 2019 open. I'm going to click on this icon here and make it active. Left click to create a roof baseline and then drag in the direction, in the, drag in the direction I want it to slant and then left click. Creates a, a roof plane, which I'm sure you knew that. Okay, now I'm going to go over here to open the dialog box. I'm going to go to the arrow. I usually like to make the arrows larger, 12 inches. And uh, okay, you can see it's not showing. And that's because the layer in plan view is turned off. Okay. Click on the R's, go to the roof, and find roof plane labels. There it is. Oh. oh, that's room, rooms, rooms labels. Uh, where's roofs labels? Probably just missed it. There it is. See, it's unchecked. Voila. Okay. Now, your question was, how can I move this around? And it's kind of awkward, but there is a way you can do it. You can open the dialog box, go to the label. And oh, and Home Designer Pro, you can. And Chief Premier, you can. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just assumed it was the same as Chief Architect Premier. Well, okay, you can't. <laughs> but what you can do, if you if the automatic labels are inconvenient, I'm going to go over here and uh, press the label. And you can just go to text tools. I used to do this uh, before they added the automatic labels several versions ago. You click, use this symbol here. And uh, well, first of all, I need to find out. Okay, it's 812. And it's slanting. Here's the pitch indicator. So it's slanting up that, that way. So I'm going to take this and make it uh, 8 slash 12. And we'll go over here to attributes and make one arrow on it. Yeah. And large. Doesn't have to be large. But this is what the thing will look like when I click OK. And then grab the arrow and point it in the direction. And there's your indicator, which you can put that anywhere you like. And copy this <clears throat> to other roof planes. And, you know, point them in whatever direction you want, want them to point. And uh, if you're concerned about the exact placement of labels, this is how I would do it. I wouldn't use the uh, label that uh, comes with the uh, roof plan because in Home Designer Pro, you can't move them around. In Chief, you can. Uh, there's a dialog box setting in the roof dialog, but <clears throat> that feature doesn't exist in uh, Home Designer Pro, so this is a method that I would recommend. It's a little extra work, but it's not that much extra work. Go back over here and suppress that automatic label. And this label, like say you create it yourself, you can put it whatever, wherever you like. Okay. The only bad thing is it's not on a layer like the automatic one. Uh, these are all on CAD default layer. And uh, so that's how that works. <clears throat> Let me uh, so wet, wet your uh, appetite here. I'm going to open X10, Cheap Architect Premier X10, and show you how it works in X10. I had a uh, Home Designer Pro 2018, uh, 2019 open. I'm going to go here to New Plan. And same thing, I'm going to create a, a roof plane. And then, uh, oh, we'll go up here to display options and turn the roof's labels on. Roof's labels. <clears throat> and there it is. Now, in Premiere, you open the dialog, go to the label tab, and see there's an offset here of X and Y. I want to move it <clears throat> to the left. I put in minus 60 inches. And then now we'll move it 60 inches to, well, okay. 
move to down screen. Let's go back to zero and minus uh, 48. And I put it over here. <clears throat> but this is cheap Premiere. And they just did add that feature to Home Designer Pro. And uh, sorry, but that's, that's the way things are. If you want the extra bells and whistles, you got to pay, pay money for them. Anyway, I hope this uh, helps straighten that out and uh, gives you a, a, a secondary solution that you can control yourself. And thanks for watching in any case. <coughs>